Hello everyone, my name is Raven, and welcome to Raven67854 Gaming, and welcome to my Blender Ambient Occlusion Node tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how we can use the Ambient Occlusion Nodes to not only add Ambient Occlusion into our scene, but also um, truly like control like how it looks and increase you know uh, everything from how dark it is and so forth to the number of samples. And before we get too far in, uh, if you have any issues, comments, or what have you, uh, feel free to put them in the bottom. Or if you run into any issues and you need help, uh, there is a link in the description to the Discord. Feel free to join. And uh, I, or maybe even someone in the community, will do the best they can to help you. Now, with all that said, let's get into it. So first thing you'll see that I have already created a scene um, if you would like to know how to set up these PBR materials over here on the top left, you can click, there'll be a little card there and it'll take you to the video. Alternatively, if you don't see that for any reason, um, you can go check the description. I'll put a link in the description as well. So if we turn and toggle, if we go up here and we go to our EV settings and we toggle the ambient occlusion, you can kind of see it. It's very faint. But it is there. But what we want it to do is we want it to like really pop. And we also want to be able to control it. So if we go to our shading with our floor selected or whatever object you happen to be using there. And we'll just do a shift A and we'll select ambient occlusion. Now one thing to note is the number of samples here. Uh, if you're using like a denoiser, uh, you may have to increase the number of samples. Particularly with cycles because the denoiser might actually like kind of mess with your ambient occlusion. So we're actually going to set this to 32. And then we will just uh, add a mix shader. And then we'll just drag it over to the shader. And then we'll drag our PSDF. And then we'll put this in our surface. And now they are combined. Now you'll notice immediately straight away, there is a little bit of a difference. Um, we have just you know, a little bit more, and you can see this if you drag this over, you can see it kind of disappeared there a little bit. But what if we want like a lot more control? Uh, obviously, of course, you know, we could increase the distance, but we'll use a color ramp to do this. And we'll just drop it in and we'll give it a second. And now we can adjust our color ramp. And yeah. Now we have much more control and we can you know, crank this up and get it really black. We can even change the color if we want to. Um, so we can make it like darker or lighter or even a completely different color if we really felt like it. But we're just going to leave it black. Okay, so now let's do the exact same thing, but let's do it for our walls up here. So we'll add the ambient occlusion. I'll change the samples to 32. I will add in a color ramp. And then I will add in our mix shader. Drop it into the factor. Whoops. Uh, let's see here. Let me just control Z that. There we go. And I'll just drag this up just a little bit. And now you can see that it's not only affecting um, the floor, but it's also affecting itself. So, you know, the other wall object that shares this material. And try to center in a bit more on that. There we go. And now if we were to turn this on and off, you can see a huge difference. And once again, you know, you can just adjust the color ramp depending on how much of it you want it to affect the scene. And that is pretty much that. This is an extremely simple and easy to use. It's a bit of a setup, but as you can see, it produces a much better. And if we hit F12 here and just render out the scene, you can see that it looks so much better and you can see a really nice, really good uh, AO effect going on there. So. That'll do it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. It was a really nice and quick and easy one. Um, once again, thank you for watching. 
And I will see you guys in the next one. Again, if you have any, you know, comments, issues, whatever, you can drop a comment in the YouTube section or you can join the Discord. Again, link in the description. And I will see you guys in the next one. And we'll be using this uh, scene a lot. So you'll probably be seeing it a lot here lately, uh, you know, going forward. And have a lovely, lovely day. Or night or morning, whatever time of day it happens to be for you.